They tell the train just rolled into the station. We gotta yeah. go. <laughs> and as always, we're fashionably late. Let's get a move on. Hey, Liv, where are we going? The caboose Okay, let's see if we can sit in the caboose car on the train. Okay, we're rushing to get the Georgetown train. Apparently, they don't wait for anyone and they always leave on time. So let's go. Here's a quick history of the Rocky Mountains' favorite train. The Georgetown Loop Railroad, which was completed in 1884, was one of Colorado's first visitor attractions. In the early 1900s, the rise of the automobile led to a dramatic reduction in train excursions, which resulted in large revenue losses. Oh, All aboard! In 1938, the Denver to Silver Plume line stopped operations, and the Georgetown Loop was dismantled, marking the end of an era. There you go. Okay, let's count our tickets. One, two, three tickets, because there are three of us. Now hold on tight. The Georgetown Loop went operational again in 1984 with the completion of the Devil's Gate High Bridge replica right in time for its 100 year anniversary. How many tickets do you have? One, two, three, four. Four tickets? Yeah. Or three tickets? The 4.5-mile-long track winds through mountainous terrain with trestles, cuts, fills, and a grand loop. It goes from Georgetown to Silver Plume and back again, or vice versa, in which it ascends an elevation of 640 feet. So we reached the halfway point, which is in Silver Plume. Um, we're here for just about 10, 15 minutes or so while they refill the engine with a whole bunch of water and then we're heading back to Georgetown. Liv, where are you going? They just finished filling it up. So now they're gonna bring it back and reconnect it. Thank you. 
the engine is a Shea locomotive, of which there are only 118 remaining. The engine number 9 we are riding today is a Class C engine, with 3 cylinders, 3 trucks and weighs between 40 and 160 tons. It has been in operation with the Georgetown Loop since July 14, 2012. What an amazing place. I mean, really, it was just magical. She loved it so much. She was in awe the entire time. Say like, choo choo, choo choo. <laughs> so it's a great and easy day trip from Denver. It's fun for the whole family. <laughs> um, little ones ride free, which is great as well. And during the winter time, they also have a, a Santa train. So we're gonna have to go back for that too. Just make sure you book ahead online, uh, just because they always sell out. Check out their website below. Thanks for joining us and see you next week.